Hello everyone, this is John Sterrett coming to you from Wheeling, West Virginia and today's tip is covering how you can use Central Management Server as a tool to help you be a proactive database administrator. So in this example we have a query that gives us a bunch of disk information uh, for all of the databases on the PBM demo instance. So if you look at the query that ran on the third row, we can see that the data file for the Eventworks data warehouse is almost out of space. So if we go in and we see this information, we can easily go and expand the data file to make it bigger so that way we're not dependent upon the autogrowth settings. Um, this is great if you only have one instance, but what would you do if you had, say, 100 instances? You definitely wouldn't want to go into every single instance and fire off this query. And that's exactly where a central management server can help you be proactive. So if we click on view and we go over to the registered servers, we can see that I have a registered server set up. And the first thing you're going to notice is there's groups and there's registered servers. So we have two groups created, development and production, and we got five registered instances. So we have SQL Express, we have 2000, 2005, 2008, and the default instance is 2008 R2. So in this case, I'm going to choose to run a query against just the production group. So I'm going to go ahead and click on New Query. And the first thing you're probably going to notice is the color change down here, which this is a good thing. This is telling you that you are now running a query against multiple servers. The next thing you probably want to look at and notice in the bottom left corner it will say connected and here we see four out of four. So this is definitely a good thing because you can see that our group has four registered instances and this is saying hey I'm connected to all four through Windows authentication using the administrator account. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to copy our query. We're going to go ahead and paste it into our new window and we're going to click on the execute button and as this is running you're quickly going to be able to notice that it just ran the query against every single one of the instances under the production group we got 2000, 2005, 2008 instance and our 2008 R2 instance all here so as you can see really quickly only taking about about a second it ran the query against every single one of the instances and got the results and grouped them together in one result set. So uh, I think this is a very powerful tool that can help you to run all kinds of different administrative queries to gather data to help you analyze the data and make your databases better. So I hope you enjoyed this tip and I look forward to giving you the next one.